As the round fails the cheery uncle of all the planets, the king of the gods, Jupiter, is impressive and majestic. A reminder once again that as humans, most of the time, if not always, Mother Nature is our inspiration. I stand to be corrected, but I believe you have heard the sweet melody playing in the background. But do you know what it is and who composed it? Well, join me as we unravel the interesting story behind this amazing work of art. Hit the red subscription button below and the notification bell for this channel and then you relax, enjoy and learn from this amazing channel that we, where we give you facts about music that will leave your mouth wide open. The Planets is a seven movement orchestral suite by the English composer Gustav Holt written between the years 1914 and 1916. Each movement of the suite is named after a planet of the solar system and its corresponding astrological character as defined by Holt himself. Now you find that the concept of the work is astrological rather than astronomical. Mind you, there is a difference between those two terms, but that is not for today. This work explains why Earth is not included, although Sun and the Moon are also not included. Each movement is intended to convey ideas and emotions associated with the influence of the planets on the site, not to represent the Roman deities. From its premiere to the present day, the suite has been enduringly popular, influential, widely performed and frequently recorded. I'm sure for us, most people, the most frequent piece from this work that we know is Jupiter from the planets, which is playing in the background. The work was not heard in complete public performance, however, until some years after it was completed. Now, you find that the premiere was at the Queen's Hall on 29th September 1918, and it was conducted by Hall's friend known as Adrian Bolt, before an invited audience of about 250 people. The first complete public performance was finally given in London by Albert Coates, conducting the London Symphony Orchestra on 15th November 1920, that is six days short a hundred years from today. Now we are told that the idea of the work was suggested to Halls by Clifford Burks who introduced him to astrology when the two were part of a small group of English artists holidaying in Mallorca in the spring of the year 1913. We are told that Halls became quite a devote of the subject and will cast his friend's horoscopes for fun. Clearly and surely, you can attest to the fact that indeed Holtz was inspired by nature and in our daily lives we find that nature indeed even most musicians the songs that they compose they are inspired by nature and we can see the extent to which this inspiration made Holtz to create such an amazing work of art now we are told that Holtz also used Alan Leo's book, What is a Horoscope, is a springboard for his own ideas as well as for the subtitles like The Bringer of for the Movement. Now on 17 January 1914, Holtz attended a performance of Arnold Sherberg's Five Pieces of Orchestra at the Queen's Hall conducted by Schoenberg's people. 
We are told that this influence holds at least to the degree that the working title of his own composition was Pieces for Large Orchestra. That is seven pieces for large orchestra. So you see that was the working title of his own composition before later changing it to The Planet. When composing The Planet, Holt initially scored the work for four hands, two pianos, except for Neptune, which was scored for a single organ, as Holt believed that the sound of the piano was too percussive for a world as mysterious and distant as Neptune. Indeed, now Holt's use of orchestration was very imaginative and colorful, and I bet you agree with that. The Planets remains Hall's most popular work, but the composer himself did not count it among his best creations. And we are told that later in his life, he complained that its popularity had completely surpassed all his other works. <laughs> Funny, right? What do you think? For me, I think this is one of his best works. As usual, leave your comments below. Now, the work is scored for a large orchestra consisting of the following instrumentation. Remember, in the other video, we talked that an orchestra comprises of many instruments being played at a go. Now, the movements vary in the combinations of instruments used. Under woodwinds category, we have four flutes, three oboes, one call and glaze, three clarinets, one bass clarinet, three bassoons, one contra bassoon. Now, if you are not a musician, don't panic. These are just some of the musical instruments we have, but hang on, we will reach at the point where you will find it interesting when we speak about the characteristics of the planets according to Holtz from his work the planets now the second category is brass where we have six horns for trumpets two trombones one bass trombone one tenor tuba and one tuba or the regular tuba that's just part of those under the brass then under the percussion we have seven timpani we have a bass drum we have a snare drum we have cymbals we have triangle, we have a tam tam, we have a xylophone, and more. Again, don't worry, don't be shocked or threatened by the names of the instrument. Now we have the keyboards category, where we have the celestial, we have the organ, we have strings, we have two harps, we have violins, we have violas, we have cellos, we have double basses Th those are just some of the instrumentations required to play this work of gustav holtz the planets very interesting work of art indeed now let us look at the interesting part of this video the characters that gustav holtz assigned to the planets we begin with number one in his work mass which is called the bringer of war it is the first one of the seven pieces and in ancient roman religion mars was the god of war holtz composed this piece in anticipation of the outbreak of world war one do you remember the years of world war one well it is a march but an unusual one. Normally a march has four beats in a bar so that you can say left, right, left, right. But Mars has five beats in a bar which makes it tricky to march to. The opening has two harps, strings playing with the wood of the bow, timpani using very hard-headed sticks on the gun. There is also a solo from the euphonium. The craggy rhythm and pulsing drum beats give the music a military feel the second planet is venus the bringer of peace the cool blue venus follows the angry red mass the music is slower and beautifully eerie 
complete with relaxing tunes played on harps and flutes, shimmering strings and elderly solo violin, passages to call to mind the Roman goddess. The third planet is Mercury, the winged messenger. Lightly and fast, the lively Mercury is quick and powerful in equal measures. The high-pitched harp, flute, and glockenspiel tunes hop, skip, and jump throughout the suites. Short duration, usually just about four minutes. The fourth planet is Jupiter, the bringer of jollity. As the round-faced cheery uncle of all the planets, the king of the gods, Jupiter, is portrayed as impressive and majestic. The swelling brows and slow waltzing strings are met with moments of poignant beauty in the glorious tune now known as I vow to thee my country. The fifth planet is Saturn, the bring of old age. A favorite movement of all Saturn is quite a shift from the positive music heard in Jupiter. The opening is slow and almost unsettling until the music expands into a heavy march. The sixth planet is Uranus, the magician. Starting with four brassy notes, Uranus shifts from heavy timpani blows to a boisterous gallop. The full orchestra shows the impressive power of this icy planet represented in Greek mythology as the god of the sky. The seventh planet is Neptune, the mystic. When Hall scored this work of piece of art, he used the organ to represent this planet. The piano he taught couldn't portray a planet as mysterious and distant as Neptune. Beautiful harp and strings, melodies slide over each other until Holtz brings out the crowning glory and mystical choir. What do you think of this amazing piece of work by Gustav Holtz? As usual, you are free to leave your comments below. I remember that Holt used to play the piano but his hand was ninja so he turned to writing and composing. Remember to hit the red subscription button below and the notification bell for this amazing channel. See you in the next video.